this is a quick tutorial to show you how to remove the wire harness and the electronic box from one of our printers here at 3D Potter. You're going to need a little pair of snips, a three and a four millimeter Allen key tool, and for our pro printers and bigger, you're going to need a small flathead screwdriver. So for the first step, uh, let's go ahead and take off the X motor cover from the wire harness. We're going to grab our three millimeter Allen key tool and I'm going to get a close up here. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the X motor cover. And we're going to undo this screw here. Be sure to not lose any screws that we are going to be undoing in this video. Okay, for this cover, you're going to slide it back just a little bit like this in this direction and then you should be able to start lifting it up. If you're not able to lift it up, uh, maybe just only slide it back just a very small amount and then try and start lifting up or lifting up right away. So once this is off like this, you can then move it down the wire harness a little bit and there's a small slit here to take the wire harness out like so. And now uh, for the X motor, you may have to undo one zip tie. So there may be a zip tie on the uh, X Pro. Be sure to only cut the zip tie and not any of the wires. And when undoing this connector, be sure to pull by the connector and not by the wires. Okay. Most of our printers also have a strip of epoxy right here. Right here we're using a piece of tape to just kind of show how the epoxy is. And this will need to be removed. In most cases, it can just be pulled off directly. If you get a good grip on it, you can just pull it off. On our Pro, Super, and XL printers, you will have to undo uh, a screw on our power connector. So on our power connector, there are two screws on the top, right here and here, and you'll have to use a flathead screwdriver to undo them, and it will be in this orientation. And then you can remove this connector, and then you can also remove the other connector as well. You can then start feeding the wire harness out of the printer, You can undo the motor connections. And you can also undo the Y probe switch connector. The same way we reduce, take off the other one, make sure you're pulling by the connector and not by the wires. There may be a couple more zip ties to snip off. There'll be maybe one here. And also possibly one up here on the upper portion of the printer. And then you can grab your four millimeter tool and undo the screws that secure the electronic box to the rail. Again, please be sure to not lose these screws. So for these screws, I'm actually going to put them back right where they were on the back of the Z-Rail so we don't lose them. And that is how you remove the electronics from one of our printers. This would need to be done if you want to send this in for repair or a board swap or any other kind of technical maintenance issues. You need to take the wire harness off the printer. This is uh, how you do it. Thank you.